The Hork Bajir Chronicles is the second companion book to the Animorphs series, written by K. A. Applegate. With respect to continuity within the series, it takes place before book number 23, The Pretender. Although the events told in the story occur between the time of the Elamist Chronicles and the Andalite Chronicles. The book is introduced by Tobias, who flies to the Valley of the Free Hork Bajir, where Jarahami tells him the story of how the Yerks enslaved the Hork Bajir, and how Aldri, an Andalite, and her companion, Dakami, a Hork Bajir, tried to save their world from the invasion. Jarahami's story is narrated from the points of view of Aldri, Dakami, and Esplan 9466, alternating in similar fashion to the Megama Earth's books. Background The Hork Bajir Chronicles is one of the most unusual novels in the Animorphs series because, like the Elamist Chronicles, which is also a book ended with a scene involving one of the Animorphs, it has an almost complete lack of human characters. Tobias, who appears in the prologue and epilogue, is human, albeit trapped in Hawk Morph. Although the moral implications of war are a common theme in the Animorphs series, the Hork Bajir Chronicles is one of the novels in that series that deals most heavily with that theme, such as the loss of innocence during the battle on the Hork Bajir homeworld and war crimes being committed by the usually honorable and allies. It describes a peaceful world that is torn apart by violence. While clear divisions of good and evil exist in the Animorphs series, K. A. Applegate has stated that she wanted to write the Hork Bajir Chronicles to show that most stories of conflict are more complicated than any one side would have you believe. The ghostwriter and spouse of Applegate, Michael Grant, likewise said during a Reddit AMA, Hork Bajir Chronicles was neat because it was basically a Vietnam parable. We even incorporated a version of the famous line, we had to destroy the village in order to save it. HBC was history and politics and philosophy snuck into a kid's book about monsters and trees. The Blade Ship, Visser III's personal ship, is built during the time of these chronicles and plays a constant role in the series. The ship is shaped like a medieval axe with a bridge in the handle and twin scimitar-like wings that form the Blade. Plot Summary In the Earth Year 1968 Aldri and her family come to live on the Hork Bajir homeworld after her father, formerly Prince, Cyril, is relieved of duty by Alaran and many other Andalites in 1966, to feel he is no longer fit to command them. This is mainly due to his peaceful philosophy towards the Yerks, which has resulted in the Yerks enslavement of many other species. On the Hork Bajir homeworld, to Hork Bajir. Dakami and his friend Jagil Helen make contact with Aldri's family, and Aldri makes friends with Doc. Doc is a seer, meaning he possesses intelligence greater than most others of his species. Aldri's mother, a biologist, is fascinated with the reptilian, tree-dwelling, peaceful Hork Bajir, as well as with the other life on the planet. Aldri herself begins to learn more about Hork Bajir culture from Doc, and he in turn learns about and allies. But then tragedy strikes in the form of a Yerk invasion. Aldri's entire family is killed, but she escapes, barely, along with Doc. Doc is sickened by his first taste of violence when they are forced to fight Yerks and Jay controllers. The Yerks arrive at the enormous tree where the other members of Doc's tribe live, and proceed to enslave every single Hork Bajir they find. Aldri and Doc, meanwhile, continue to flee the Yerks and they journey down into Father Deep, a huge chasm, the Hork Bajir believe they were born from Father Deep and Mother Sky. There they meet the Arn, a powerful but arrogant race who created the Hork Bajir, as well as many other creatures that inhabit their planet. Aldri convinces the Arn that it is in their best interest to fight back against the Yerks. Aldri also urges Doc to round up the remaining Hork Bajir and train them to fight. Eventually, Doc does so. And he and Aldri then lead their Hork Bajir army, along with various monsters and terrifying creatures created by the Arn, against the Yerks on the ground. In the ensuing bloodbath, Aldri is disgusted by the carnage, and Doc blames Aldri for turning his people from innocence and peacefulness towards violence. Doc becomes more distant with Aldri. After many months, 
an attack force of Ant-Allied ships appears, though not enough to fight off all the Yerks. The Ant-Allieds, including Alaren, now a powerful leader, join Doc and Aldri on the ground and take part in their campaign of guerrilla warfare against the Yerks. As their numbers began to dwindle, Alaren becomes desperate and finally resorts to using a biological weapon, a virus which will kill all Hork Bajir, from the Hork Bajir controllers whose bodies are being controlled by Yerks, to all the free Hork Bajir still alive on the planet. When Aldri realizes what is about to happen, she betrays Alaren and her fellow and allies in order to help Doc destroy the virus before it can be employed. In the resulting conflict, the virus is accidentally released into the environment. Aldri, who had morphed into a female Hork Bajir, who is actually Delph Hijul, the wife of Jigil Hullen, during the struggle, willingly stays too long in that form and is thus trapped as a Hork Bajir Nothlet. She and Doc realize their love for each other, and the two become a mated pair. They eventually produce a son named Ciro and go to live in the deep valleys, where the toxin will not reach for some time. At least one of their descendants will eventually become a founding member of the small Hork Bajir colony on Earth. About 30 Earth years later, Jarahami. Doc and Aldri's grandson, tells the story of the Yerk invasion of the Hork Bajir homeworld to Tobias. Sitting around a campfire at night with other Hork Bajir, Jorah reveals at the end of his story that he and his Kalashi, Kathal Pak, have named their daughter Toby after Tobias. Responding to Tobias' comment that it is a strange name for a Hork Bajir, Jorah comments that Toby, like her great grandfather, is different. As Tobias begins to fly away the next morning, he pauses to ask when you say Toby is different, and Toby, still only four feet tall at this point, replies to him yes, Tobias. Friend of the Hork Bajir. Yes, I am different. Tobias is happy to know that she is a seer just like Doc Hami. Note, Doc and Aldrin's story would later be extended somewhat further in Animorphs number 34, The Prophecy. Please subscribe.